How about over here? I got my purple, my purple little uh, slippers or something on. This is the room. Jeez. Whoa! This room looks just like that uh, mural earlier on. The mural. Didn't I use one of these with the cane? Didn't I get a cane out of one of these? No. Celadon vase has been placed here. I can see a hole going downstairs, but well, downwards from the opening of the floor. I didn't read that right. I didn't read any of that right. Right, keep it. I not one hundred sure, one hundred percent sure what it said. You can see a floor going downstairs. <gasps> Maybe I can use a rope. Having a closer look, there's a square-shaped groove on the floor. Cradle under the star. Ooh! There's something underneath this. Maybe I'll beat it with a stick in a minute. Strange symbols and letters have been written. Time. Is made okay. I wonder what this means. I need to reread that because that that went way too fast for me. I, I was fucking about. Oh my gosh! I have to walk all the way back. Come on, Jennifer. I believe in you, girl. Strange symbols, yada yada yada. Time is made to adhere. All right. Well, that was worthless. I wonder what this means. So do I, Jennifer. Now, what's this? Come on, girl. <gasps> There's a dead body of a crow. Decapitated crow. What about this one? An iron disc. A cross has been cut into it. I think there's another part of this I can examine. Having a closer look, there's a square-shaped groove in the floor. There's something underneath this. No. No. Give me a fucking thing to use. It's okay. You smell progress? I'm hoping. Use it. Ooh, there we go. What's that sound? Ooh. The hole goes far down. If I use this ladder, I can probably... Alright. I don't like the sounds of this, dude. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm a, I'm a bit, I'm a bit scared. How does that camera work? Not in the middle. Be careful. Dude. Hey, you. Guy in robe, come here. Is that a girl? I think that might be a girl in a robe. Alright. Fine by me. Let's follow her. What's a hand disappearing for? Huh? What's that? Uh oh. It's like a dog's growl. From an actual dog. Hey, are you okay? Um. May I need to use the perfume to smell like the owner. Got some of that uh, sniper wolf strat going down. All right. Oh, wait, wait. <gasps> Dude, I called that shit so hard. That's it. That was the entirety of it. That's... That is still better 
than the time I played Pokemon Soul Silver and got a really cool Team Rocket outfit that lasted all but 20 seconds of me walking up the stairs. Didn't even get into one single fight because they didn't bother to make a sprite wearing that outfit. It was bullshit. Anyway, that was so much cooler and was just as just as short. Only it actually had a purpose. Oh no. Where am I? This place is blurry. Oh, dude, I better, I better find something. I don't think the dog's gonna let me walk back. Is that not a cave? Whoa, we're in caves now. Everything looks like something's going to eat me. Look at that mouth. You under the hose? <gasps> An elevator? An elevator. It's an elevator. It's not moving. Well, I guess the power's been off for a while, so it makes sense. So we're underneath the house now. Ooh, <gasps> just a generator. Why is the desk here of all places? Why is the desk here of all places? Who lit those candles? Nice. Damn. Jennifer's a pretty cool character, huh? Alright. Maybe I could have walked to the left there. Ooh. Hello? I don't know. I'm not sure I want to be opening this. <laughs> that. What is that? That's some ugly. Oh my god, it's waking up. What? What? Alright, this isn't something you really expect to see. Oh my god. I'm not controlling right now. This is a cutscene, thankfully. Mash. Mash everything. Mash. Okay. Keep going. Don't fuck with Jennifer. There are cans here. Oh, we set him up on flamey flame. All right. Some kerosene. Oh, we walked up this way last time or something. Oh, we walked on the can. Ah, all right. Wait, do we want to leave? Are we leaving? Arrive, burn bitches, leave. That sounds like a good t-shirt. Burnt meat? Oh no. Wait, wait, wait. He's not still alive, is he? What the fuck? 
dude. No power though. I don't know where the power came from, but all right. <laughs> hey. Ooh. I think we haven't gone to floor three yet, have we? I got chills. They're multiplying. And I'm loose. It's in control. Oh my god. The last thing I need is your bitch ass. Get out of here. Dude, this game's awesome. Oh, that, oh shit. I'm not doing this. This is a cutscene. <gasps> he can't handle sound. He's Eddie Brock. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, get off! <laughs> all right, all right, it's cool. He can't handle sound. I don't really know what's going on with him. I'm hit I'm hitting everything. I'm slapping those those buttons. Yeah. <gasps> Dude. You all right? Did I freeze it? Get the fuck out of here. Jennifer's 15 years old. She's taken down this entire weird organization herself. Oh, wow. This place looks nice. This is meant to be rain. We beat it? <laughs> Did we beat it? <laughs> Hifumi Kono Game design Hey, good, good game design Did we This has some Michael Myers Halloween Inspiration This music, right? Did we beat it? Nice rain mechanics Two frames a second but it looks beautiful. Very artsy. Dude, this game rocked. This game was awesome. This is called Clock Tower The First Fear. It's also just known as Clock Tower on the SNES. Um, Clock Tower on PS1 is Clock Tower 2. On its own, you know. But, but this game was great. Yuki Kiyama. Kiyama. I did Japanese names. You know to get me. Tostumu? See, see what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> this game rocked. Dude. I loved this experience. I think the music really helped it. Like, kicked ass. I wonder what ending I got. Um, I don't think we got ending A. If is the assumption of ending A being learning all the ins and outs of the story, I don't think we would have gotten ending A. Because I felt like we skipped a few things with our pure badass talents. So maybe we got end in C. A, B, and C I hear are canon. But they give different information. 
to different degrees. So, we'd have to get some other endings to fully understand the story, I feel. I'm gonna go with ending C. Because we killed the enemies and we saved the day. We never found... This version, we never found Anne. Anne's body was never found, right? I never found out what was in the hole in the wall. Good point. I never found... Or that skeleton that you mentioned that I had no... No, um... Encounter with. So we'll... We'll probably play this again. To... Find different endings. But maybe you guys can help a bit more on... How to get specific endings of what we might have missed. I'm not really sure how we missed it though. I just going through the motions of what we were, what we were, you know, led to believe we were going the right way. Save the memory card. Let's check out what ending we got. That was a wonderful experience. I'm so glad I played this game. Uh, endings. We got H last time or something. I got ending B. B E A U T full. We got ending B. So ending A is probably the one we should work towards sometime. You know? That 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 was that was a wonderful little title. There's a lot of endings too. So there's a lot of replay value to this game. Um, what's my opinion of the game? My biggest issue is not being able to heal at will. I think you have to stand still and it's really inconsistent. But I didn't need it. At least in my run. I didn't really need it. Uh, it was a cool little mechanic. It was definitely more enjoyable than being tired all the time in Haunting Ground. Um, I liked the length of the game being short. I thought that was very enjoyable. A beautiful little bite-sized experience that was probably considered average length back in the day. But I, I liked this game length. I'm someone I don't like 15 hour long games. I don't like eight hour long games. I like maybe four or five max. So all the games I play are always four or five hours long. And I love them for that. Um, this was a great experience. I like the character of, of Jennifer. These old games, you tend to pick up on what the personalities are like simply from the way they react to things. She was a bit dense at times. But she was capable of taking care of herself. Basically, she was a 15-year-old who was really good at kicking ass. Um, I liked the side characters and the evil characters. I thought the entire cast was pretty cool. I wouldn't say I'm a, a big fan of the character designs except for Jennifer. I liked I liked the sword guy and I liked I liked um, Jennifer. The rest of them looked a little fugly and color coded. I like the mansion. I like the mansion design. I got a little bit of corpse party flashbacks. Only not as depressing. I liked the altern the alternate endings that we can get. Um not not really sure how I missed stuff. Maybe I should have went maybe sh I should have went back to floor 2 instead of going to straight to floor 3 with the elevator at the end. Maybe we would have figured out stuff then. And we kind of just skipped ahead a little bit. Um, as far as horror, horror that, that I can't say the word horror games. As far as horror goes, I found a game creepy, but in story, I don't think at least in end in B or playthrough B, I don't think Jennifer had a difficult time compared to some other protagonists in movies and books and TV shows and video games. She kind of had a... It was not that big of a deal. You know? It was just like some... Some... Small dude... Running at me with his scissors. Get the fuck out of here. Some middle-aged woman... Trying to strangle me. Get the fuck out of here. And that was it. We were fine. It was like... Eh. What can you do? Eh. 
you know, we never really figured out much more about Mr. Burrows in the in the in the cell, but I think that that leaves more to play in the future, and look for more endings, see what other stuff we can do. So I will definitely be keeping this installed on my PlayStation uh, emulator. I think this was a great run. Uh, hopefully I inspired one or two of you to want to play it yourself someday. L1 and R1 to go left and right and square to press X on everything. What? Um, that's really all you need. That's the entire game. But, but I think this was definitely a great game. This predates the survival horror genre in, in that term. But it's definitely a survival horror game. Um, but yeah, really, really had a great blast with it. And I will, I want to say I want to try Clock Tower 2. I think I'll try Clock Tower 2. I will. I will do Clock Tower 2. But it is ugly. It is really, really ugly. Like next level gross graphics look like they were made during the dinosaur age like i'm not usually a graphics guy i mean i played this this is 95 i play resident evil 1 all the time clock tower 2 but i'll play it i'll play it so you know we'll see what that's like uh i'm expecting another great game and i hear clock tower 3 is a bit weird but it's like a ps2 era game and i think it's just before haunting ground became a thing so I might, I'll probably try that also. If I like Clock Tower 2, I'll probably do Clock Tower 3. Uh, this was a late night stream, hence the the low voice. Um, I didn't think this game was the most scary, but it definitely had a bit of spook to it. And I enjoyed that a lot. Uh, good atmosphere, good game, and definitely worth playing. And uh, the enemies, escaping the enemy wasn't very annoying. That's another thing that kind of bugged me. Uh, Haunting Ground kind of bugged me. Because you'd hide under a bed for five minutes. Like five goddamn minutes. Waiting for the enemy to leave. And then you come out and get spotted again. And then you're in a closet for five minutes. Or you need to get through a door. And and Fiona's like. I can't do this right now. I have to escape. And I'm like dude let me make progress please. I have the key. The door's right there. Let me just walk on through. So that, that was my biggest issue with that game overall. And I feared that this game was going to be similar. And I was bracing myself for it. But it turned out to be a lot more pleasant towards the gamer. And for that, I think I like this more than, more than Haunting Ground. I have to replay Haunting Ground. I do. But right now, this is a more pleasant game to me. But uh, I do love Haunting Ground also. I just think it's, uh, it gets a little on my nerves at times. Um, but uh, for all those on YouTube in the future, if you haven't followed on Twitch, follow the Twitch link. It's below the video. Subscribe over here too while, while you're at it. Or subscribe on Patreon and help support the channel in a great way. Uh, everyone on chat. You guys helped me out. We got lost for about 45 minutes trying to find a key that was next to the doll. But in the end, it was a great experience. And uh, you you really helped out. And you'll probably, I'll probably need her help for the second game too. Uh, I really suck at finding clues. I will never be a detective. You guys, you guys are my eyes at times. So uh, thanks for that. Um, but yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow on Twitch and follow on Patreon. I think we got 500 followers today. So this is the 500 follower stream. This was the 500 follower, um, Twitch stream. So we'll always remember clock tower for that reason. That's pretty cool. Bye everybody. Enjoy your night.